Good evening. It's Facebook love number 66. How are you doing? We are having Memorial Day weekend as of sunset, I suppose. Um, I think a little bit about the people in my family who've served our country. The official reason for Memorial Day. Most of the men in my family have worn boots and carried rifles. One of my grandfathers was a medic in Korea. Um, but I also think because so many Americans have died in recent weeks, a huge percentage more than normally do, that perhaps we're also to be memorializing all this loss. Um, also today I've been thinking about images, the idea of what comes to mind when words are said, as in connotations and your own experiences coloring things, and also images themselves and what do they mean and what do they say. So I found a few pieces. One is directly about painting and the other uh, is more about images inside someone else's mind. This first one is by, the, by a poet named John Yao, and the title is A Painter's Thoughts. I want to paint in a way that the eye disappears into the sky and trees, the idea of a slowed down, slowly unfolding image held my attention Variations on a theme are of no interest. A bowl and a cup are not ideas. I want my painting to be what it contains. It should speak, not me. The idea of a slowed down, slowly unfolding image held my attention. I paint things made of clay just as the pigments I use come from the earth. I want my painting to be what it contains. It should speak, not me. Brown and ochre stoneware bowls beside a white porcelain pitcher. I paint things made of clay just as the pigments I use come from the earth. I place the pale eggs on a dark, unadorned tabletop and to let them roll into place. Brown and ochre stoneware bowls beside a white porcelain pitcher. The dusky red wall is not meant to symbolize anything but itself. I place the pale eggs on a dark, unadorned tabletop and let them roll into place. I want to paint in a way that the eye disappears into the sky and trees. The dusky red wall is not meant to symbolize anything but itself. Variations on a theme are of no interest. A bowl and a cup are not ideas. A Painter's Thoughts by John Yao. That's a particular form of poetry if you've never heard it before. I wish I could remember the term uh, when certain lines are repeated that way. They mean some, something different depending how you say them. Often like looking at a painting or a photo or a sculpture means something different each time you see it. Why would we listen to songs more than once if that weren't true? Um, here's a poet that I really like who's been around for rather a long time now. Her name is Sharon Olds. This one is called The Enchantment. When I say to my mother, what was a good thing about me as a child? My mother's face 
seems to unfurl from the center, hibiscus in fast motion. The Anderson flounces, flounces spring out with joy. Oh, you were enchanting, she breathes. What do you mean? Crazy? No sense of reality? Ha, no, no, she laughs, with many little notes, half a scale plus grace notes. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> you were just enchanting. Possessed, I ask? Brain damaged? No, she smiles. There was something about you, the way you looked at things. I think I get it. That stunned look on my face in photos. That dumbstruck look, gaze of someone who doesn't understand anything. But a week later, I decide it was a look of wonder. It was bemused pleasure. Days later, I see it. That light on my mother's face. She loved me. And today, I hear her. She did not say enchanted. The woman in whose thrall I am is in my thrall. I came into being within her silks and masses. And after we are gone, would she caper here, my first love? Would she do me the honor of continued ensorcelling? The Enchantment by Sharon Olds. If you have a mother who adores you, or anybody in your world who adores you, if you are a parent who adores your progeny, I love how the narrator doesn't understand and then does. The way we muse and think about people and the things they say to us. What words mean, what images say. This is Facebook Love. I'll see you again.